a bloody clear and take trick out there. Not much kind of went your way, especially in that first half. How did you see it? Oh, look, I thought we had a, a decent start. We didn't, uh, you know, there's a couple of opportunities there in our mall that we, um, close to the line that we didn't execute. Um, but I thought in the first 20 minutes, we sh certainly showed signs there of, of dominance, lost our way a little bit, um, probably from 20 minutes to, to 40, um, where they got uh, got back in the game with a couple of tries. And then um, I thought in that first 20 minutes of the second half, we were the dominant side. Um, you know, we, we, we started to see signs of how we want to play. Um, yeah, Sin Bin, three tries um, off the back of the, uh, you know, during that period, whilst, whilst the Sin Bin was, um, was there. So, um, and, you know, they took their opportunities. As you can imagine, it seemed like in the opening 20 votes, halves, you were getting plenty of chances. What do you think it was about that kind of, you know, final, I guess, five metres? Oh, we're going to just go back and review and have a look as to why exactly, um, you know, again, that we didn't uh, didn't get pay or didn't, <coughs> didn't execute our mall the way that we want to, uh, the way that we want to execute it. So it's just about having a look at the, having a look at the video and, and, uh, and improving. With the injuries, obviously, they look good. What's the sort of early prognosis for the rest of the season? Oh, well, Carter got hit high um, and uh, obviously had a concussion. So, you know, he'll just go through the normal protocols there. Josh Man Ray, uh, yeah, looks reasonably serious here, the hamstring, when he was uh, just on a poach um, just before half time. Um, but I thought our bench, I was really, I was really proud of our young players that, uh, that came on tonight. I thought Flower Fanger and his, and his debut um, for the Brumbies at, at, and first game of Super Rugby, he, um, he was outstanding, as well as Phil Acioni. Um, yeah, so I thought our bench, Andy Muirhead, they, they added real spark and that was, you know, in that uh, 40 minute to 60 minute period there, I thought um, we were in a really good position, 14, 14 10 down, um, a fullback, it's taken out in the air and falls on his head, um, you know, I've, I've seen those occurrences in the past and it's, it's you know, it's been a, a, a red card. So, um, you know, just little things like that that uh, didn't go our way. So wasn't it an need for Bongo coming? Yeah, it looks more... Uh, I haven't spoken to the medical staff yet, but from what, what I can gather, it, uh, it looks uh, hamstring-related, yeah. Christian, uh, defensively, were you happy with the intensity of physicality? Because clearly they pulled that to their game. Were you happy with your spot? Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, in the patches that we were tested, we uh, stood up. I thought um, that's been an area we've been trying to improve over the last few weeks, and uh, we're getting some good gains there. I think uh, the boys felt pretty comfortable with what they were throwing at us um, attack-wise, so um, I guess we're pretty pleased with that. Obviously not, not pleased with um, leaking some tries late, and I think we've just got to look at that and how we can adapt to those um, moments when you sort of one down and um, turning the footy over, is, it's never easy, but... Uh, yeah, I think it'll be a nice uh, learn for us. Was there anything wrong with your leg? You went off sooner after, but was that something that, was, that wasn't even interesting? No, no, obviously I got a little like, cork when I was um, going for a high ball, but nothing nothing bad. Um, yeah, and then just I think uh, it was nice to just get uh, Futs on and um, add some spark to the team because, um, yeah, we just needed to try something different. And I thought he, he did that really well. What was that at half time? Because the team sort of really seemed to, I mean, it, it could have been an awesome tackle, obviously, by Tom Banks. And, you know, the scoreline could have been a bit larger at halftime, but you guys were able to recruit and come out well in the second half. What was that at halftime? Yeah, I think um, we spoke about how we started and then just lost our way, as, uh, as we've spoken about, and then just getting back into our game, um, trusting our, our uh, system and um, things that were working well for us and just slowly building the momentum um, our way. And, um, yeah, I think that was that was the main intent to get back out and, and, and play our game with some good intensity and uh, get in the position so we could play footy. Christian obviously doesn't look great on the scoreboard tonight, but does it feel like out there just that kind of final execution is what's missing? Yeah, uh, I think um, it's nice that we're creating some opportunities and we're getting into good positions. Uh, look, we're trying to add some new things in our attack and, and things like that. So 
um, it's going to take some time for us to continue to, um, I guess, see those opportunities and take them. But um, it's nice that we're seeing that kind of space. It's just yeah, executing under pressure, which is nice to be under. Um, obviously, you, you learn better when you put in those moments more and more. And um, hopefully, we can uh, start to start to click and execute. Dan, will you uh, talk to the referees about the help? Uh, oh, look, I think, you, you, you know, again, you've got to go back and review it. It's, yeah, as I said, yeah, I, I probably will have a chat to Lyndon, um, uh, you know, about a couple of things there. Look, I'm, not, I'm certainly not blaming referees or anything like that. I thought you've got to, you've got to give credit to the opposition. Melbourne played well. Um, they're in a bit of a purple patch at the moment. Um, as Christian said, we're trying to change a few things, change a few habits, and it's going to take time. So we've got to be realistic there whilst we'd like to be... Um, uh, three from three. We've, you know, we've been on the road now for for a long period of time. We look forward to getting home and um, playing in front of our in front of our fans and in um, and, and, and front of our family and, and just um, um, you know continuing to improve. You got to you can look at these moments and, and be really glum about them, or, or you can think this is an opportunity for us to learn and and to, and to grow. And, and I think the uh, the real positive out of tonight was was our contribution of, of our young players. You know, some guys that haven't played a lot of footy. So, look, we've got areas we've got to improve on. But um, we're, um, you know, it's, it's, it's early days and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get back. We'll have a quick review and, and move on to the Sharks. I think it was Banks that came up around 52 minutes. So, is that as a result of that tackle or was it playing? Uh, no, well, Andy came on for, and, and Andy Muirhead came on for Tom Banks. So, and it was Andy Muirhead that, uh, that you know, that was tackled, so. Ah uh, well, whenever yeah, I'm, I, I can't remember exactly what period it was when when Andy came on, but uh, Banksy wasn't on the field when uh, when that occurred. It was probably a little bit later into the game. Um, yeah.